Now, I'm going to do parts A and B because part A is so quick. We've got the point A then with parameter t equals minus 1. We've got to find the coordinates of A. All you've got to do is simply substitute t equals minus 1 into here for x and into here for y. And if you do that, you'll find that you get A has coordinates, well, minus 1 cubed, minus 8 times minus 1 comes to 7. And then you put minus 1 in here, minus 1 squared is 1. So coordinates of A are 7, 1. Now for part B, what we've got to do is find the equation then of the tangent at the point A. Well, let's just put point A on the curve. Not too sure where it's going to be, but I'm just going to take a guess. Let's just suppose it's somewhere over here. 7 across, 1 up. Let's suppose then that's the point A. Marking the coordinates 7, 1. Not that it matters too much, it's just the method that really matters. So what we're trying to do is find the equation of a tangent. Let's just imagine that this is the tangent through here. Oops, missed the point a bit. There you go. Now, being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the tangent, and we've got that here. It's the point A at 7, 1. So x1 is 7, and y1 is 1. Problem is, we've got to get m, the gradient of this tangent. And the gradient of the tangent is given by the gradient of the curve at this point. In other words, we've got to find dy by dx. And how do we find dy by dx? Well, we need to use the chain rule. In other words, to get dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. It's as if these dt's cancel one another out, just leaving you with the dy by dx. So that's where we start basically in this question. We're going to find out what dy by dt is and dt by dx. So Let's start with dy by dt. We've got y equals t squared up there, so therefore if y equals t squared, dy by dt is going to equal 2t. When it comes to dt by dx, what we do is we find dx by dt first. So we'll do that, we'll get uh, dx by dt. Differentiate this first term, we've got 3t squared and then minus 8. So put that down, 3t squared minus 8. So that means that therefore dy by dx, the gradient at any point on the curve, is given by dy by dt, which is 2t, multiplied by dt dx. Now dt dx is going to be this inverted, okay, 1 over 3t squared minus 8. So we've got that being multiplied by 1 all over 3t squared minus 8. Put this together and you've got basically 2t then all divided by 3t squared minus 8. So that's the gradient at any point t on the curve. Well we want this point here. The point here is where t equals minus 1. So all we need to do is say then that when t equals minus 1, we can find the gradient dy by dx. It's going to equal 2 times minus 1, all divided by 3 times minus 1, all squared, minus 8. And if you work that out, what you'll find you get is a gradient of 2 fifths. So we've got our gradient, our m value, so we're in a position now to therefore get the equation of the tangent. So if we just introduce that here as the equation of the tangent at A is, okay, using this form it's going to be y minus y1, y1 is 1, equals the gradient 2 fifths times x minus x1 and x1 is going to be the 7 here. Now we've got to get it in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught. So what I would want to do is times through by this 5. 
And if we do that, we get 5y minus 5. And then for this side here, it's just going to leave us with 2 bracket x minus 7, which when you expand out is 2x minus 14. And if you rearrange this by subtracting 5y from both sides and adding 5 to both sides, you're going to end up with what we had to show. 2x minus 5y minus 9 equals 0. All right.